Okay, in this video, we are gonna talk about how to find a random sample from a list. Um, we're gonna talk about with replacement and without replacement. So first thing we need is a list. So the Inspire will store a list in braces. So I'm going to just type in a list. So that's control and then close parentheses. Okay, nothing happening. Control and close parentheses. And I'm gonna use a really specific list for this example. So I'm gonna use A comma B and press enter. So this is now my list. It'd be more convenient if this list had a name. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name it. So L1 for list one, and then control and templates, and then I'm gonna paste it down, and I have L1. So now if I press the var key, L1 is there, and every time I use L1, it's just A, B. Um, okay, so we're good to go with our list. Now what we wanna do is we want to uh, take a random sample of size two from this. Um, the reason we're using this is to kind of illustrate uh, the difference between replacement and non-replacement. Um, so to find a random sample, we're gonna press menu, and then option five for probability, option four for random, and then option five for sample. So that's menu five, four, five. All right, so it's random sample. The way random sample works is first you tell it the list, which you could just type in. You could type in uh, A, B, C, D, right? That's a list. And then you tell it how many things you want to pick. So say you want it to pick four things from this list. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to press enter. And you can see that it's giving me D, A, A, C. So that might not be what you expected, or it might be what you expected. So the weird thing is that it's picked A twice. That's because what it's doing is it has this pool of four things. It randomly picks one thing, it got D. It takes D, throws it back into the pool. So now it's choosing another random thing from the same list, A, B, C, D. It picks A, takes A, notes it, puts it back in the pool, does it again, gets A again. So that might not be what you want. So what I'm gonna do is uh, to review. So it's menu, five, four, five. And then I'm gonna actually use list one this time just to see what happens. List one, I want a sample size two, right? So you might be thinking you'll get uh, A and then B, like seems like the only option. Um, but there you can see I got A, A, I got A, A again. And let's, oh, there you go, B, B. So any of those were options. What if I don't want to replace it, right? So uh, what I'm gonna do is to review again, it's menu five, four, five. And then what you do is tell it the list Tell it you want two things, and then what you're gonna tell it is you don't want replacement. So what you're gonna do is just type one. Um, by default, there's a zero there, which is why you don't have to put it in to just get a random sample. But if you don't wanna replace things, you have to put the one. So I put the one, and now what I'm gonna do is press enter, and I get BA. So it chose B, it didn't put it back in the pool, and then it chose a one more random thing, but only A was the option. Um, so I can get BA, I could also get AB, but those are the only two things that could ever happen in this scenario because I'm not using replacement. So this is pretty useful. Um, so you can give it a long list. Uh, let's see, just uh, one, two, three, four, five, eight, right? And tell it how many you want. Maybe you want four. And if you don't care, like you could get four, uh, one four times, you just hit enter. And let's see if we can, there we go, we got six twice in that case. If you do care, you need four things, you're gonna assign each of them a job or something, so once they're selected, they don't go back into the pool, comma one, and there you go. All right, so that's how you can do random samples from lists uh, with replacement, without replacement. Hope you found this helpful, and good luck.